it might well have legs short term, but I think the reality that we're going to see over coming weeks is the effect on uh, corporate earnings and corporate health. Uh, the second quarter this year is going to be pretty terrible for economies worldwide and, and for most corporates. Uh, and to have markets trading uh, not far shy of highs, uh, the US in particular, I think doesn't leave much scope for disappointment. I mean, I hope the optimism is correct, of course. I mean, I hope we uh, we find a vaccine yeah. in record time and uh, everything is rosy again. But uh, uh, the underlying reality is still very shaky. It is shaky, Hugh, and it does remind us that the markets seem almost... We know they're driven, but it almost seems that it's the main driver now is any information on health progress, on whether it's treatments or vaccines in this case. And it makes me wonder how we approach and really regard the future discounting mechanism in the markets right now, because to a great extent, some have said it's been distorted somewhat by this extraordinary liquidity measures we've seen out there. Mm. Yes, it's being distorted hugely. Uh, money being pumped into the system left, right and centre. Uh, interest rates at zero. Uh, but of course, that money is also being absorbed. Uh, we're seeing plenty of uh, calls for money, whether it's rights issues uh, that are coming out or, or, or we'll find with the increasing bad debt that we're seeing throughout the economy. Um, so to my mind, it's, it's ultimately rather worrying. Um, uh, but I, I, I guess at times like this, we'll see these uh, massive sentiment swings with markets moving two, three, five percent one way or t'other uh, in reaction to news. And we're likely to have some bad news at some stage. So, so I'm afraid it's going to be more of the same, people getting uh, optimistic and then uh, sinking into pessimism 